Hello, social media family. I'm Pastor January here in Portland, Oregon. In 2018, I wrote a book about forgiveness, which is a gift unto thyself. The title of the book is The Bondage of Bitterness. I now have written a second edition here in 2020, simply because I understand that unforgiveness is usually at the forefront of many of the activities in our lives which involve incarceration, murder, untimely divorce, unplanned di abortions, felonious activities, hate crimes, and much, much more. And I'm grateful to be able to stand here before you today and say that God has blessed me to write this book in order that it might be an encouragement to someone else. Is unforgiveness the reason why most of our prayers go unanswered? Many of us get on our knees and we pray and we expect God to answer us. But God will never go against his own word and he will never go against himself. Forgiveness is the prerequisite for us having answered prayer. And if you don't believe that, I'm going to put some word on it. The Bible says in Hebrews 12 and 14 to follow peace with all men and women and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Our very ability to make it into heaven is predicated on us being forgiving and loving towards one another. According to Mark 11 and 25, the Bible even says it this way, and when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them so that your Father in heaven may also forgive you of your sins. Translation. That's a nice way of God saying, I can't hear you because of the loudness and the stench of your own unforgiveness. And this is because unforgiveness is the prerequisite to prayers being answered. Forgiveness and love go hand in hand, and I'll prove it to you. No matter what a child does, their parents will always forgive them because they're connected by love. But that same parent will become fresh out of forgiveness when that same thing is done by someone else because they're not connected by love there's no genuine love connection you don't love them like you love your child so your child becomes the exception to the rule as it relates to forgiveness simply because you love them according to 1st John 4 and 20 there is a distinct connection between forgiveness of our brothers and sisters that is co correlated with answered prayer and it says if a man say I love God and hated his brother He's a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? Some people will take unforgiveness all the way to their grave. And it's the same unforgiveness that will serve as a vehicle to ruin your life. So is unforgiveness the reason why some of our prayers are not being answered in a timely fashion? I've heard it said this way. He may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. Well, I was in the world fame, Grambling State University Tiger Marching Band, and we love doing breakdowns and remixes. So let me remix that statement for you. He may not come when you want him, but you're going to want him when he comes. Once again, this book is available on Amazon.com and Lulu.com. And if you have any further questions, um, you can find my email address in the video description below. You can also find the link to Amazon for the book and a link to lulu.com for this same book. And I want to leave you with this. I'll show you how important unforgiveness is. Go and read Matthew 23, excuse me, chapter 5, verse 23 through 24. And you will see that God doesn't even want your money until after you have learned how to forgive. That's how critical this is. And I know a lot of people have an issue with tithes and offerings and donations and giving. But God doesn't even want your money until you've learned how to forgive. There's a reason why some of us don't have answered prayer. I guarantee you, this book that talks about the bondage of bitterness and how we should forgive one another is some of your keys to answered prayer. I guarantee you that if you've never had a prayer answered before and you read this book, you're going to find out what I found out. 
that forgiveness is the pathway to the blessings of the Lord. God bless you. God keep you. And I hope that your life and your future is so bright that you have to wear shades. Bless you.